Hi, I'm Marna. This is the Dolls Rescue Channel, and I'm going to try to hurry through this because I have a big haul, and I'll be honest with you, I've had this sitting ready to film, and I think I added to it, but I can't even remember. I have got Thea in the back to remind you about Dolls Gone Goth that J Dolls UK and I are hosting each month on the 16th. We went to Hobby Lobby, and they had these Blythe, uh, Neo Blythe or um, 18 inch doll hats uh, on clearance just in time for Easter. Aren't these marvelous? I don't know how many I bought, a bunch. Uh, and I did not buy all they had, believe it or not. Um, I also got, oh, this is from a, um, an antique store we were in. This one is from a while back. I got this for my Blythe dolls, and yes, I'm going to open it. And it winds up, and the little needle goes up and down. My Blythe's need this for that Blythe house I'm getting together. These are for my friend, Jean Stanton. When I see them, I buy them, especially when they're pretty like that. She takes these beautiful little hankies and makes the most gorgeous Blythe uh, uh, outfits out of this was from Walmart. Uh, if you're making, for me, if you're making uh, midi boots or shoes, I use felt. It's easier and faster. I want to get that off because that gets sticky on there. I picked up some flowers for, you know, Easter collabs. And all of these were on clearance. Uh, I can't even remember how much these were. These wood popsicle sticks, although they are not the size of popsicles that I knew as a kid. These are very small. 50 in a pack. They were cheap. I bought them. Always doing crafts. Um, we had gone to um, Hobby Lobby. Oh, this was also from a, this was from Savers, and I threw it in that bag because, you know, they don't give you a bag anymore. Um, this was just in here with this. We love, I have a whole tree full of um, bicycle ornaments. Darren and I are cyclists and we have, what do we have, three tandem bikes or four? Three. And we actually ride a tandem bike. We love it. Uh, while I was at, where is this one? Hobby Lobby. I got this, oh I love this for Easter. Isn't that pretty? I just had to have more of it. And I have my boy Blyce, and I'm always looking for something for a shirt for them, and I thought this was cute, fishing lures. Um, they had, and I could not resist, and I send these in Happy Mails quite often, $2.49, they have these 18-inch um, doll clothes. Look how cute that is. So for $2.50, 49 cents. I got me one and someone else one. And look at the little cat outfit. I got me one. Oh yeah, and someone else. And they also had shoes. I'm always looking for 18 inch doll shoes. Um, it seems I'm always, you know, I like to find um, American Girl dolls and fix them up and they'll need shoes and clothes after the fix. So I got that, and then, oh my, my, oh my, my. I really love doing custom blights. That's really fun for me, and I'm working on, well, several projects. But I also do um, gifts. I'm getting ready, I'm getting several made now for the uh, November Blythe Con coming up for our um, meetup, and my active subscribers, I'm making a... Um, Custom Blythe. So they had these beads. Oh, how cute are these for uh, Gothia? And any like uh, Wednesday Adams. They also had these. I just love them. I don't know if you can see. They have itty bitty crosses on them. I really like those. I'm doing a mermaid collab and I found these. I thought they were perfect. Are you seeing the prices on these? My goodness. And then they had these. I don't have a plan for them, but for 24 cents for 48, I wasn't going to leave them. They had this on clearance in the um, dollhouse aisle. I thought it was cute for my middies. 
And look at this for $1.99. Lissa from Doll Joy Lissa is like me. She loves these uh, skeleton keys. My front door actually opens with a skeleton key. This is uh, three kinds of metal. There might be four in there, actually. Yeah, there are four kinds of metal and um, different sizes and shapes of skeleton keys. I love those. I send them a lot of times with Blythos. And then they had these two cute fabrics, really cheap, so I bought those. I think this was from a different trip. Yeah, it was. Uh, mermaids again, I thought that was cute. I thought I could do something with the, I, I love that. Darren actually uh, is a certified diver. Uh, me, no, I'm not interested in going down. And mermaids. But look at these fabrics they had on sale. I don't even remember how cheap these were, but they were they were really inexpensive lemons. Who doesn't love that? I love that song, Lemon Tree, very pretty. And then I got some more bee print. This year seems to be year of the bee. They have all kinds of bee prints out. And I got this because it was on clearance and I love that print. I love the uh, flamingos. And I happen to find beads on sale at this, um, oh, that one fell, at this Hobby Lobby also. So, yes, I did buy them. I think these were 50% off. I thought those were perfect mermaid-ish um, beads. Let me get them. Oh, okay, that fits. Isn't that cute for my dollhouse, my littler dollhouse? I couldn't help myself. I had to have it, 99 cents. Um... Let me move some of this back. I'm trying to hurry and show you all. Oh my goodness, the, the deals they had going. Um, Dollar Tree, I just wanna give you a heads up on these. I absolutely love them. They are uh, in the doll section. I buy this for the white shirt alone. The pants are just a um, bonus. The shoes will fit the uh, Basak. Blice are Barbie dolls, and the purse, well, it's just a purse, but still cute. I got some little jars. I use a lot of those, and is that it in here? No. I got some of these. We'll open these another day. Tina from Tina's Reborns and More interests me in these little food items from um, Dollar Tree. So I thought that was cute. Now let's move these back even more. Got the uh, hang on because I'm kind of pushing stuff. This was from uh, Joann's. And I don't know if you, if you ever get in line at, at uh, Joann's and you're standing there, they have these little uh, Lego kits. And from time to time, they have them marked down. This was $3.97. We bought it. Um, I have a lung issue. And I have to wear scarves when it's really windy out. Yes, even in the spring and probably need them in the summertime, to be honest. But I bought this um, fleece to make a spring scarf for my face. And again, I tell you, it's year of the bee, uh, the bumblebee. They're just everywhere. Look at this Easter print. I absolutely love that. Um, this is more of a fall print, but so perfect for a Blythe. Blythe came out in 1972, and I love the outfits that give a nod to that era. This is for um, Lorraine at uh, Serenata, and uh, I had sent her some of this. I said, if I find it again on sale, I'll buy it for you. I did. I got to get that in the mail. Forgive me, Lorraine. It might not go out right away. Isn't that cute? Won't that look cute? <laughs> Cute on my elf or an 18-inch doll for Easter. I've got to get started sewing. Oh, and then my husband, God love him. I like to do collabs where I send out um, a pattern to a group of people, and we all make the same thing. And that's the only thing I say is let's all make this. And everybody chooses their own fabric, their own style, does a little something different to it, and I love this, and this holiday season, uh, what I say holiday season, I actually mean November-ish. I am going to be sending these out. I thought this would be so cute for uh, a little uh, holiday collab. 
they also had uh, these baby doll outfits. I thought would be cute for an elf. Um, the little, um, oh, 15 to 17 inch um, elf babies or elf children. I thought this would be good because their body style is a little different. The 14 inch um, doll outfits are a little snug on them. My husband goes over and um, gets the patterns for me while I'm shopping for um, fabrics. He gets bored and goes over there and I tell him what I'm looking for. This is one of my favorite patterns. I have a Barbie doll collab coming up. I've got to get on that uh, where I send a Barbie doll a pattern and we all do the same outfit. I think we're going to do this one. It's super easy and uh, no, the longer pants. Super easy and this top, these pants, and it's a real encouragement for people that are just starting to sew. So we're gonna do that, and then they had these. I absolutely love this skirt. That is such a fun collab, and I have an idea for that. So you'll be, you'll be seeing uh, that skirt collab coming up in the future. Um, of course, I got more fabric. I, I have probably have more or as much fabric as, well, Walmart for sure, um, some of the fabric stores, but you got to buy it while you see it. I took my mermaid doll in, who is the same doll as Birdie with the green yellow hair, and I looked at possibilities for her tail, and I really like this. I hope it's picking up. What do you call that? Holo Holographic. Holographic. Love that. Had to have this. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this. I received a I received a happy mail from Terry Sample and she had a bicycle print about this large uh, that she had made for my 18 inch doll. I absolutely love that print. What I like is this is a different color. About the same size, little different print and a different color, which is really gonna be cute if I make something up for one of my other uh, little girls. Again, B print, and I love this one because it's smaller. Uh, this was on, you know, I should have bought more of this because it was on sale sale. I mean, clearance, clearance, clearance. It is um, double knit, t-shirt fabric. This, I have an idea. Uh, I bought quite a bit of it, it was really cheap. And wait till you see what I have an idea for with that. Again, I am loving the B prints. So I'm buying it while I see it. Or is that the same one I showed twice? Okay, and then on this particular time, they had these patterns. They didn't have, they only had one extra of the, of this pattern. And they only had the one of these. These are the retros. These are clothes that I wore as a child. Uh, I was born in 1957, and I spent my summers in these little, uh, what, do you, what do you call it, little jumper, a little, uh, I can't think, rompers. And um, there, are no, there were no snaps when we were kids. You undid the top. Every time you went to the bathroom, you came back out, you asked an adult to tie you. Anyway, I love that. I'm going to put some of my dolls in it, probably my little elf. Went to Walmart. I'm not going to save this particular bag. I need to get on this because I know it's getting very long. But I got some good stuff, didn't I? Um, Uh-oh, something's still in there. Oh, this was from the vending machine. Darren had to go take care of something, so I was standing by the vending machine, and I thought, no, they had monsters. Of course, I got the one. Let me put it here so you can see it. I got the one I didn't like. Put another 75 cents in. Guess what I got? Same thing. But I got that for my boy, Blyce. Um, I just got two shirts. I think these were like, what were they, Darren? Like a dollar or two dollars or, or something. And I, I need some, some long shirts. So, boy, these have been in here so long. You're, when you first see me wear these, are, here it is, a dollar. Yeah, a dollar. I figure I could wear these for um, a layer. I, I dress in layers in the winter. Um, when you see me standing there, I'm not that fat. I have two or three or four layers on, usually four. Um, this was from, I don't know where, let me see. Oh, this was from a 
um, thrift store and a buck and a half. I love this. Fourth of July is going to be here for you know it. And they give you a, a, a red to go with it for a buck and a half. I thought that was good enough. A dollar for these dolls. I wasn't going to get them. But I have a collection of and too many of the um, McDonald's Barbies. What I really like are the ones still in the package, but you can't always find them. They had these patterns for a dollar. Actually, they had a bunch um, of doll patterns, but I got this one out to make sure that this, again, same as the other different size, um, little romper was in there. So I was glad to find that. And then, no, I didn't need it. I didn't need it. I didn't need it. But wait till you see the price of this. You know, sometimes you just buy the doll because of the price. And I know that sounds silly, but when you are offered a doll for $18.75 for the doll, the set of clothing, shoes she comes in, plus three other outfits and three more pairs of shoes, that's four total. For $18.75, you do not walk away. Thank you for watching the Dolls Rescue Channel. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.